This is huge because it really kicks off the fact that we need to talk about mental health in our area. When we can begin to talk about it, we can begin to come up with better solutions to uh, gain help for those who really need it um, and to collaborate a lot more effectively as we deliver those. What we wanted to do was to be able to come up with a way that how can we channel this information up to a structure that can make decisions. So who are our safety net providers and, and our judicial system and you know law enforcement? What would that look like? That group, that, that convening of conveners, uh, we actually brought them together and said, let's start here and let's come up with something wonderful. And, and that group has actually come up to form the behavioral health leadership team for our community. The momentum that events like this and OK to say, uh, those are building momentum toward people actually starting to have conversations about mental health. Everybody wants a good mental health system. Everybody wants people to succeed. That even, that the police, the, the judges, prosecutors, everybody wants a good community. And that involves early involvement, decreasing the stigma, and um, coming together in a collaborative way. If you're struggling with depression or anxiety that are your two big halves of it, uh, and the things that spin off, come see me. You want somebody to tell you there's hope. That's the one thing you want is hope. When you have uh, 300 people come together and commit energy and time and resources to a project, uh, I, I saw it in the panel discussions I saw it in, in table side conversations. Uh, I've already made multiple contacts uh, with uh, community service providers um, that can uh, partner with us in the schools and we can better serve kids in the future. This event in the Sherman and Denison area is very meaningful because there's a huge need for to talk and see if we can get some uh, dialogue at the community come together to see how we can help in the mental health community and how we can provide better services for those ones who are in need. As long as the right attitude is there and people are kind of on the lookout for it and people are realizing that physical health problems and mental health problems should be considered you know, in the same light, then the, that change of mentality changes everything. The fact that 250 people are here today talking about this is a major step in the right direction. that it's time, that this community needs it, it wants it, and it's time. So thank you very, very much. Have a great weekend.